Hello and welcome to another video. I'm so happy to be here with you guys to learn something today, okay? So I have uh, an iPhone 12 mini that come to my shop because they say uh, when they restore the phone is in uh, recovery mode, okay? So if I come here, okay, and I, I already take uh, everything apart, okay? So I'm just going to connect the uh, flex the charging port cable i'm going to connect this and i'm going to connect the uh, dc power line and i'm going to connect this phone to my computer okay okay that's it remember when you receive an iphone that is in recovery mode you uh, don't have to do just the software okay you have to have a uh, steps to check if uh, the NAND is good okay so I have a really good uh, protocol that you you can follow to see if the NAND is the problem for example you have to check voltage you have to check for uh, leaks for short circuits and things like that okay I already check a lot of things in this phone so I'm going to show you something because I already check everything so I can come here and I can just click exit recovery mode Every time you receive an iPhone that is in recovery mode, every time you had to do that because sometimes the phone is just stuck there. But you, when you do the exit recovery, you can now see the consumption, the real consumption. Is if the phone come back to recovery mode, is because you have a problem like this, okay? Because this one is coming back to recovery mode. So I'm going to go to flash and I'm going to import the then this one okay i'm going to import this one and i'm going to do the flash okay and i'm going to wait we are going to wait a little bit and we are going to see if this one sent me an error and maybe the nan is the problem so we are just going to wait a little bit here okay so if if we can see right now we don't have any error right that means everything is good the problem with this phone is that if we click OK and if we come back here, the phone is again in a recovery mode. So right now we can have uh, so many uh, things that can do this to this phone. Okay, the first thing that you have to be sure uh, don't have this problem is with uh, flex source. Okay, disconnect everything and just connect the uh, flex, the charging cable and try another one and just to see if uh, some of these uh, flexores is the problem another thing that can do this to iphones is you can come here to your schematic remember the things that i'm going to explain to you right now can apply to iphone 8 and up okay so you are going to click here config okay config and all the nans have uh three lines that uh, had to do with config boot config okay boot config boot config the first one is config okay the first one is boot config one boot config zero and boot config two okay these lines all these lines sometimes uh, they uh, these lines go to a resistor so you have to make sure this resistor is uh, in place and they are don't have a uh, uh, disconnected or things like that right so you have to check all this resistor I already checked this resistor uh, on this phone because uh, if uh, we come back right here so we can see that I already apply a new solder to all this resistor okay so uh, all these resistors are good they are in place and they are good okay but don't forget to check these lines config okay config 0 config 1 boot config 0 boot config 1 and boot config 2 the other things that can do this to iphone is maybe a nand or maybe a cpu or sometimes can be the interposer so just make sure you take uh, the boards apart and just check it but before we do that we had to think a little bit w which one are the the buttons that we had to press to have an iphone to recover to put an iphone to recovery mode that's correct we had to press volume up volume down and power button right the side button so if uh we come right here okay 
And uh, if we check the power button, we had to have in dial mode a value of 402, okay? And uh, if I come right here and I put my multimeter in uh, dial mode, I'm going to check this line, okay? And I'm going to check this value and see how much I have. I have 180. So I had, I had the half. So when we have a half, it's because maybe we have a leak on this line, okay? So I'm going to come back right here. I'm going to uh, just put the my power supply. And remember, the power button, when you uh, connect your power supply or a battery to a phone with uh, and the power button, you have to have around 1.6 to 1.8 voltage, okay? That's the line 1.8 always, okay? So if I come back right here and I just show you this, I'm going to check this line and see how much I have. I have zero. So I don't have nothing. I have another board right here. See, I have another uh, the same board. This is a four parts. So I'm going to connect my power supply and I'm going to come back right here and I'm going to check the same line with voltage. OK, and I have see. 1.6 and then if I remove the power supply and I check this line in dial mode so I'm going to have a value of 400 okay so we have the power bottom key and a low resistor that's because we have a leak okay so if we follow this line this line come to this capacitor and then this line go directly to the PEMIC or the PMU and we have another resistor there so we can have two problems here. We can have a connector bad, maybe it's a touching together with ground, or maybe we have a capacitor bad, or maybe we have a PMU bad. But, but I think we don't have a PMU bad because the phone uh, show me the logo, the recovery logo. So that, that means all the voltage from the PMU to the CPU are good, okay? So, the things that we are going to do is we are going to remove this capacitor, okay? We are going to remove this capacitor and then I'm going to check in dial mode here, okay? If I have 400 right here and if I have nothing right here, that's because the, the bar was the capacitor and we are going to put another one and we are going to check, okay? So, uh, we're going to do that. Okay, so I already uh, removed the filter right here, okay, see, and I'm going to check with um, diamond, okay, and if we check with diamond in this area, see, we still have the leak over there. So we have a big problem right here because if uh, we follow this line, this line come here and then the filter move this line to this uh, side of the capacitor and this capacitor is going directly to the PMU and then we have a resistor right here so maybe at uh, this resistor is a low resistor I'm going to check the resistor but I'm not sure if that resistor is going there or not if it's not non-stop if no so I had to just remove the PEMIC okay so I'm going to cut this area okay I'm going to cut this one with the moto tool I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to use the technique that I already teach you how to uh, remove these kind of circuits, right? With uh, our iron, with uh, two, uh, 450 of temperature, and we are going to clean the area with our heat gun, 260, and then we are going to apply the iron to remove with uh, no pressure, right? So I'm going to check that and we are going to see if uh, we can uh, solve this problem. Okay, so I'm going to check the PMU. If I see everything good, so I'm going to put another one. Okay.
Okay, okay so I already put the uh, PMU. I just had to clean the motherboard because it's so dirty. I had to clean it and I had to put it back this capacitor, okay? I I'm going to put it later. And I had to clean all the board because right now it's with a lot of flux. And remember, I, I still had to put this uh, filter, okay? I still had to put this filter because this filter is missing, okay? So, uh, remember, I'm going to check this with a uh, diamo. With diamo, okay? And I'm going to check this line. Remember, this line was in, in leak. So, right now, we had to have uh, 400 almost. Okay, see? We had 340, okay? And, and before we have 180 okay so that lines is good i'm going to connect my power supply and we had to see if we have 1.7 uh, or 1.8 voltage okay so i'm going to come back right here and to put the, the microscope and i'm going to check remember because i don't have the filter so i can check i can't check right here so i had to check right here and we have 1.7 okay Woohoo! almost almost okay so now i'm going to connect the the this i'm going to connect this and i'm going to turn on this one remember because i don't have the filter so i'm going to touch this okay this is the power oh, you don't see it so i'm pressing this uh this area of the the capacitor right here because i don't have the filter remember okay now we have this phone that is Wait, on. this phone is on, this phone is on, and my customer is going to be happy. Okay, here we go. We have email, we have everything, okay? So see, the important thing to learn how the things work because, for example, this uh, iPhone, remember, someone tried already to do the restore and they uh, they don't have any... Um, any solution right and they delete all the information from the customer so that's why it's so important to before to do the restore to check everything and learn the basic things and have like a step by step to check in funds okay so another great video don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this channel and leave your love in the comments okay see you next time adios and don't forget i have uh, to put the filter on the power button okay before i put everything back okay don't forget that see you next time bye